Whew, what a trip. All that wibbly, wobbly, timey-wimey stuff really tires me out. Where am I? And when am I? Hello, Butter. Who are you? Who am I? My Ferris Bueller, of course. Welcome to Fine City of Pittsburgh. It's currently 1893. Pittsburgh? What's so great about Pittsburgh? What's so great about Pittsburgh? This is the birthplace of many amazing engineering wonders. It's also the home of George Washington Gale Ferris. Who's George Ferris? Why, he's a famous Pittsburgh civil engineer and bridge builder, of course. In 1892, he attended the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, where he and other prominent civil engineers were challenged to design and create a structure that could rival the Eiffel Tower. That very night, fares the match in a giant contraption that he dubbed the Observation Wheel, that possessed two large parallel circles connected with struts that revolved around a steel axis, which could carry passengers and railroad carriage type cars in rotation around the circumference of the wheels. The most impressive part of the wheel, an 89,320 pound axle, was a massive 33 inches in diameter and 452 feet long. Each tower was 140 feet tall, and the concrete base for each went 35 feet down. Marvelous! I must see it! Hey! How did we get here? Don't worry about it, my dear boy. Tell me more about how this contraption works. Well, the wheel is powered by a gigantic, 1,000 horsepower reversible steam engine. A custom-made electric brake developed by the Westinghouse Company of Pittsburgh, PA, was added for additional safety. Let's do some math. Imagine at any point that our car could be on the wheel. We can draw a right triangle like this and focus some important measurements. This angle, the radius, and this important vertical distance, which we'll call the height. We know from trigonometry that sine is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, or in this case, h over r. Multiplying both sides of the equation by r gives us that the height is r times the sine of the angle. We also know that the Ferris wheel travels a full rotation, or 360 degrees, in two hours. Converting that to minutes, we determine that the wheel turns three degrees each minute. We can pick a variable t to represent how many minutes have passed since we got on the ferris wheel. If that is the case, then we can say the angle is equal to that speed multiplied by the time that we've been on the wheel. So in our height equation, we can replace the angle with 3t. But then we also need to account for the fact that zero height on our coordinate plane is actually the height of the axis of the, axis of the ferris wheel we need to account for the height of the platform and the height to the axis, which happens to be the radius. We'll add 130 feet to the equation. Oh, and one last thing. Zero degrees is not where we start our ride. We have to rotate our axis by a quarter turn. In our equation, this means subtracting 90 degrees from the angle. What a fantastic journey! Thank you, Ferris Bueller, for teaching me about this amazing contraption. George Washington Gale Ferris was indeed one of Pittsburgh's most visionary civil engineers. Now I must go and continue my time-traveling, history-seeking journey. Wait! How do I go back to Pittsburgh?